I'm Richard Petrie, CTO at Lynx. The London Internet Exchange runs a number of internet exchange points up and down the UK and globally. We provide the services of bringing networks together at large interconnection points so that we can peer and enable uh, exchange of traffic. We cover content access providers from over 80 different countries and we have over 900 members connecting something in the region of 50 terabits of capacity into our peering platforms. The services that we provide, as your internet exchange point indicates, is, uh, is, is peering services between different networks, but we do much more than that. So as well as the traditional speeds, the 1 gigs, 10 gigs, 100 gigs, and the soon to be launched 400 gig service that we'll be providing, we also um, enable overlay services for things like closed user group. We're starting to see demand for cloud interconnection services as well. And we also provide co-location and private interconnection services to our members. There are two main challenges we face, scale and cost. We connect networks of all different sizes from many, many different countries around the world and we need to provide platforms that allow interconnection for those networks. We need to be able to provide a consistent service around different parts of the geographies up and down the UK and in our international internet exchange points. And we need to be able to do that and grow as the, the market demands. And then there's cost. Obviously cost and scale go hand in hand. But from a cost point of view, we need to look at not just the vendor, the hardware that we buy, but also the ecosystem, how that fits in to our operational processes. So this is the cost of us operating. So this covers things like tooling, this covers things like automation, and also self-service through our portal and, and what we provide to our members. We're very diligent in how we pick our partners, and we did, did so with, with, with Nokia. We've established a great relationship with them. Um, their, their business units support us well. They've got a good understanding of the uh, Internet Exchange Point marketplace. And they provided us with a, a technology option that we've adapted well to suit not just our present need, but also where we see the Internet Exchange Points going in the future. My name is Mariano Giulia. I am the Enterprise Architect at Lynx. Nokia is helping us develop value-added services such as Cloud Interconnect, close user groups and private VLAN on top of the traditional interconnection services that we offer to our membership. Their teams and our teams have been working closely together to ensure a seamless integration of the Nokia products into our platform. Where that integration was not possible, they have provided the bespoke development to ensure that we are able to fulfill our membership needs. As a result, we will be able to develop further degrees of automation and offer more insightful data to our members. Their product provides the scalability and cost effectiveness that our platform requires and that our members demand. In the near to mid term, we see an adoption of 100 gig as a de facto interface and a slowly but surely adoption of 400 gig. We envisage traffic growth in our regional exchanges in the UK, particularly Manchester and also the Middle East. As for the market in general, we think that there still be some issues around supply chain and we will be working closely with Nokia to address them.